I'm back. Okay. Um, I was distracted. Il y avait trop de bruit. J'arrivais pas à me concentrer. I really did. So, j'attendais que le bruit arrête. So, I was talking about the Facebook Zoom date that I had. Like, anyways, um, I'm gonna give the guy a fake name. So, I'm gonna call him Edouard. Okay, so Edouard was like blonde, blue eyes. He was my age. Um, usually, I date guys my age. C'est vraiment rare que I'm dating people that are like not my age. Whatever. Um, like men, even when they're older, I feel like they're the same, so it doesn't matter. And we matched on fruits. And like we were kind of texting back and forth, but I always forget to message back. So he was like, okay, give me your. Um, Like, he asked for my social media, but I didn't have Instagram at the time. I didn't use Instagram. I deleted it for like a couple months. Even before that, I also deleted it. <laughs> so anyways, and I was like, I only have Facebook for now. So I gave him my Facebook, which really like wrong move because I have all my information on there. Like my last name, everything, the school that I was going to, like the job that I had. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, we're talking and then after a couple like days, he wanted to meet up in person and I was a little reticent because like we met online. So I'm like, mm. I'm like, no, like we need to FaceTime first because I usually FaceTime before meeting someone that I meet on a dating app. Like just to see the vibe, like I don't want to waste the whole date, you know, when we can just see the vibe like on camera. It could be different in person, but you kind of have like a gist. And, and I need to like not forget how to breathe. Sometimes I talk and then it's like I have no oxygen in my brain. But so yeah, um, his eyes were very intense. I realized that just from his pictures, he was just giving like a very specific energy that low-key gave me a little, mm, I don't know, I just felt like something was off, you know, but I didn't want to be judgmental like really quick. So um, we set up a date to like have like a FaceTime call, whatever on Facebook. And it was like a Saturday and I was like in my parents' basement Because my room, my brother, like, I had a whole room at my parents' house, but then my brother took my room. I don't know, okay? I don't even want to talk about it. But I was staying at my old sister's room, which is tiny, okay? Tiny, tiny, tiny. My sister's like 5'3". Um, I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, so, like, the room was just small. And I remember she used it as more like an art space because she's like an artist. Uh, well, she was, I don't know. And um, the door did not shut like completely and there was no lock. So when I was having phone calls or anything, everybody could hear what I'm talking about, what I'm saying. So it was a little embarrassing, okay? And I was just like thinking about it. I'm like, oh my goodness, like there's no other place I can go to have like a, like a FaceTime, you know, in private, but whatever. So it was like a Saturday, um, he calls me on Facebook and we're having like small talk. He's asking me what I do for a living and I ask the same and like, it's like fine, you know, the vibes are okay. And he was going to school for something that I don't remember. Something like, it was like a university for sure. Because, yeah, he was saying like he goes to university and he worked Oh yeah, I remember he told me this. He worked part-time at a video store. And I'm like, what is a video store? Because there's no like blockbuster or whatever. But basically, he was like a technician. Like, I, he was saying a bunch of words, but it's like a, a place where they sell like... <laughs> like cameras and stuff which i don't know I was like okay um and he talked about his family he asked about my family i'm very brief i'm just like i have two parents this many siblings and i remember he would ask me like more i feel like when i don't know someone and they ask me too many questions about my siblings i get very protective 
especially when it's a man like why are you trying to know like you're not even gonna remember but he was asking me like specific questions about my siblings and i was being like no like i, I don't want to tell you that and he respected it but it was just kind of like what the fuck anyways um we kept talking and he was like sweet like a little bit but i just was giving uh getting not giving getting a little bit of like off vibes and i kept asking a question just to kind of know maybe it's just me sometimes i'm like maybe it's just me i'm like paranoid i'm thinking he's a man so something must be wrong with him right and then um <laughs> that's when we started talking about hobbies i'm like this is going to be a little uncomfortable but we were talking about hobbies and i'm saying that i do arts and i tried a lot of different hobbies and none of them just like you know stick to me like i just did not enjoy it like i tried so many different hobbies i could name like um kickboxing boxing um i did like gym for me gym was a hobby like i tried it a little bit and then i wanted to be a writer before so i would like write stuff just for fun like books or like little stories i still write poems um but I was telling him that like art is the like the number one thing that like naturally is just like flows to me, right? And then I'm like, what about you? Like, what are your hobbies? And um, okay. So then he was saying he started saying, oh, I think he said he played sports or something. I'm not really into sports, so he kind of figured like, okay, you know, I'm not really gonna ask questions about sports because I don't. I'm not really into it, right? And then he goes, he's like, well, I collect insects, insect. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. But it's like, some people just have like different hobbies. So I didn't want to be like, ew, random. But I'm like, oh, okay, nice. Like, what do you, like, what do you mean by collecting, right? And he goes, he's like, well, I kind of just like keep them in... Like, he showed me a picture, right, of insect, like, dead. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, my initial reaction, I just felt like, what? And he was like, um, présentoir, I guess. Because he was like, oh, have you ever been to the insectarium or planetarium or whatever? Um, in Montreal, there's the... Um, uh, something be bo bot jardin jardin botanique okay and they have like a space just for like science stuff right and he was like i was like yeah like i've been once or twice like once for like with my friend and like i think for school or something and he was like yeah basically it's the same thing it's just like i have them like plastifié you know it's like a it's very hard to explain it's like a like a thing where there's like a glass or whatever and then he puts the insect and i'm like where do you even find them because like how like what i ask what is the process of like having that at your house you know it's not like you collect you know people that have those like original in their living room like you have to chasse but he was like oh basically um I like hunt them. I'm like, do you mean you kill them? I he was like, yeah. And I get it, I get it, because there's people like if you're scared of spiders, if you see them, a lot of people can like will squish them, kill them, whatever. But to just intentionally find specific insect and kill them to keep them as a collection, maybe it's a thing, okay, like please if I'm paranoid, maybe it's a thing and I'm just being like like just paranoid but i was like what and i kept asking questions because i wanted to know what does it mean i've never heard anyone say that so maybe it's like a thing here you know some people collect different things so i was like okay um and i'm pretty sure he said something else but i don't remember what he was collecting because he wasn't like those little like it wasn't like a mosquito right it wasn't like a mosquito it was like something bigger but i'm I don't remember the names like i don't know like specifically into like what insect it was so i'm like um okay i'm like tell me more 
I'm like, tell me more. Like, I'm just taking notes. Like, what is he going to say? And he explains to me the process of having, like, the insect. Genre plastique, je sais pas quoi. Là. And I just have to drink water. But yeah, he was explaining to me the, um, the process and I'm like, just I'm having chills comes when I'm scared of something or I'm cold or like I'm uncomfortable my body just starts having like visible chills so I'm kind of like okay 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 <laughs> um the more he talks the more I'm like like in my head I'm like crickets like literally I want to end the call and like like I said maybe it's like saying a song or like innocent and it's not like scary but he just seemed to really enjoy whatever he was saying it just made me feel a little like icky uncomfortable and i feel like i do have some types of poker face or like my face just was giving like this like i wasn't giving any expression so he couldn't feel that I was like uncomfortable or just like, what the fuck? I just was listening to him. And I was like, kind of just making sense of what he's saying. He, I was I'm like, okay, I have to go. Cause anyways, uh, it was like after Christmas or like a little before Christmas or something. Cause like my parents were like, usually, um, I think it was like either a Saturday or a Friday, but like the whole family was just there and it, it was like during the holidays. Um, so I said as an excuse and I'm like, oh, I have to go like something, something, something like my parents, something. And um, he was like, okay, like hopefully we can like plan our date. I'm like, yeah, you know, because I don't want to make it sound or look like I'm scared. Because I would definitely was, but okay, look at this. I put like moose. <laughs> okay, but I didn't want to look like I'm scared or like I'm like. Mm. <laughs> I'm like yeah, sure we can like plan a date. So we hung up. I feel like my face is giving like poofy. Okay, I have to like I love me a good fast food like burger, but. I have to chill because I have a gluten intolerance, so I get just like super like puffy. But anyways, um, so we hung up the the video call. I'm like, <sighs> I'm sorry. We hung up the video call, and um, a lot of things were going through my mind. I'm like, should I should I block him? Should I tell him why I don't want to like? pursue anything is he a serial like i don't know so i was kind of like mm. so i told him i was like okay look um i don't think this is gonna work like i just said it bluntly i was like this is not gonna work and i wish you the best but get on my face <laughs> and i was like i wish you the best but this is not gonna work and he was like why like was a little confused because like i said like on the video call i was just very normal um with time i just i have this thing where je développe c'est comme any situations that i feel a little uncomfortable i'm just gonna have like a serious face or maybe i'm just like at the moment i have nothing to think about but usually it's like i was uncomfortable so i was like mm. and he's like wait why da, da, da. and i'm like i just feel like we're not like we don't have anything in common and we don't want the same things and it's just like not the best timing you know anything i could find to say so he wouldn't get like a little suspicious of why but he's not stupid like he he mentioned he was like it does this make you uncomfortable like the fact that he like collects their insect to just keep them like i don't understand that like i really don't and some people probably do it and like i said it might be a thing i'm just not aware um and i didn't say yes or no i was just kind of like well it kind of is something that i've never heard before but you know i didn't want to be judgmental so i'm like yeah it is something that i was like questioning a little bit but i just feel like we don't have the same 
like we don't really have like the uh, compatibility, right? So we stopped talking and I know he sent me another, like he was a little bit mad. He was a little bit mad, which I don't understand when guys do this. It's like when you're being like genuinely just, I'm not interested, I don't want anything, they get mad at you and you're like, why are you wasting my time? Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, what? Like, I, I don't understand this. Cause it's like, I could have just ghosted, which I'm not saying like, oh, you should be grateful more like you should comprehend that like no one is obligated to be like interested in you like you know like i wasn't obligated to go on a date and maybe he was like excited to meet me and for vrai before facetime i was like okay he seemed interesting a little different but just something about his eyes the way he like he would like his eyes looked in pictures he was like a pretty cute guy looking normal but his eyes i was like hmm something is off you know and i could tell like usually and even like if you study body language it's pretty easy to tell like someone's um <laughs> intentions especially men i feel like i focus on men body language just to make sure because i'm like trauma <laughs> but i'm making sure like the guy doesn't have any bad intentions which a lot of the time they kind of do or it's whatever but just from his pictures i was just getting like a different vibe and i just could not tell what it was and um even talking to him it's like i didn't feel like a genuine like conversation it was just more like you know i don't know it's just like from my intuition i'm like mm. but the funny thing is like i stopped talking to him and we rematched like a couple months later because at first I saw him and I was like, I kind of felt like I knew him, but I wasn't sure. So I matched with him. And then, um, yeah, we never met in person. But And then I re realized, oh shit, that's who he was. I think I just wanted like a hookup or something because I was like going. Sometimes I have phase where I don't give a fuck. Like I'm just going through a lot and I'm like, ugh. Like I can't even bear having a relationship and I'm like self-destructive, self-destruction. Um, but yeah, so we never met in person, um, but I don't know, just something fishy and please, like I wanna know, I wanna know if this is normal, like is it a normal hobby? Just like torturing insects? Like I don't understand that. I'm like, I feel like it's disgusting. Like it's, it just should not be a thing. But I hope I'm like not being hypersensitive because <laughs> like imagine it's a thing like people um, hunting. That's something I don't understand. Hunting, fishing, like, but it's not like you're, but it's just questioning like why, you know, like if you're hunting, I mean, chasing, uh, fishing, fishing, my God, my goodness, fishing to make like ends meet you know like you want to you don't have money and you want to like have natural food because like back in the days they used to like hunt and fish and like whatever but like in today's age people just fish for fun they fish and then they put the fish back in the water like what or they just fish and they don't do anything with the fish like i just don't understand it like i'm not even like I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And like hunting, like I said, back in the days they would hunt for like food, but it's just now, I guess it's better than like the way that they make, that they like the chickens and stuff, but it's just, it seems a little heartless. Like I'm like, mm. you know, like if you're fishing to like eat fish, it makes sense. But just to fish, I'm like, Padre, madre, like, oh, come on, come on, what do you say? Like, qu'est-ce qui se passe, you know? Je comprends même pas. Bon, euh, c'est ça, fait que I'm really hoping that I wasn't talking to, like, a freaking fou furieux, parce que I have this thing where I attract the most crazy people, and I'm just trying to change. I don't know what it is about me that have that that has that maybe i'm just like not good at having like a radar for like good intentioned people but anyways yeah